we no longer know who we are. And that leads to, in part, it's one of the things that leads to the crisis in identity and belonging. The other thing that, that um, has unraveled our sense of identity and belonging is the um, disintegration of community and our uh, dissociation from place, from nature. Because the way that any being knows who he, she, it is, is through relationship. And our relationships have been truncated. I'm skeptical of uh, any program that locates the problem and the solution just within yourself mm. and offers you a project that you do by yourself to heal. There are certainly phases of the healing journey that um, require coming inward, uh, that require retreating from the world. But the conception of the self as this discrete, separate individual is part of the problem. Like what is a soul actually? And what is it to exist? If you ask modern people to visualize themselves merely existing, almost everybody will visualize themselves alone. But if you take a, you know, um, Bantu elder, you know, or a, you know, Caro grandmother or somebody like that and ask them to visualize themselves just existing. Well, for one thing, that concept might not even exist in their language to exist as a verb. But if it does, they'll probably envision themselves with their family in a place in the world. So we've made existence and selfhood into something that is unrelated to the world. And that is itself the source of our travail. It's our disconnection. So I think, and that doesn't mean that, that there's no work to do in the inner realm um, because the connections to the world are beyond what we think of as material. There's all kinds of subtle um, relationships that we can discover and, and develop with sufficient attention. But um, I, I'd, I'd like to reverse the version of spirituality that valorizes retreating from the world and dematerializing and suggest that we become actually more embodied, more fleshly, more related, and more material. And to therefore be really present here, mm. to be at home in the world and not repudiate the world and try to escape into some uh, non-material spiritual realm or same thing, actually, it's a version of the same thing into the digital metaverse, 